testimony was really inspired by No Price's um, sermon about mid-June, about transforming yourself in life. Because throw a life my whole life. Well, yeah, as you see me right now, I'm like pretty much educated, you know, being a good person, being supportive as of right now, but throughout like my past, like in high school, it's a way different story, trust me. Okay, the way I can start is freshman year, you know, I felt lost, I felt caught, you know, I don't know what to do, you know, I had no support at all. You know, all I did was hang with friends that, you know, that like to smoke weed or go to parties drink alcohol. And then, you know, I kind of peer pressured myself to do it, you know, because I didn't really have that much friends in high school, you know. I went to Central High School where, you know, where you, you could be judged a lot, or if you're a loner, like, they pick on you and stuff like that. And well, you know, I took it a little bit hard, so I came up with people, you know, that um, did things bad, so I did it with them. And then, you know, it kind of caught up to me where I'm doing something bad as well. And, you know, yeah, I started smoking weed, you know, drinking alcohol at a young age. And then my sophomore year is where I had no support at all. So, and then I started moving, you know, to like poor places in the west side where like their apartments are like filled with cockroaches, dirty ceilings, you know. I didn't have no food at all. So, where I live is where I know like a lot of people, like, you know, they're like Oshter and stuff like that. And, and it's a gang, so like I can go on with them more. And I've been more affiliated with them. And then, in May of 2009, I, I got jumped into a gang and, you know, become a family where, you know, I thought like it's gonna be like a good thing for me, you know. They took me in, you know, they kind of supported me as well. And at the time I was selling drugs too. And the drugs I was selling was ecstasy. You know, I started off, you know, doing really good, you know. I had money in my pocket, I started selling 10 pills, then to 20, to 30. I, I try like, you know, try to be like a drug kingpin, you know. Like, you know, like that drug dealer from New York. Do you guys know his name? Um, he's from Gangland, but, um, he's the guy from um, American Gangster. Do you know his name? Mm -hmm. no, sure. <laughs> Guys, help me all tired. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, I, you know, I, I really wanted to get some money. You know, I didn't want no job. You know, minimum wage wasn't really good for me. You know, and plus, I wanted to do school kind of, but I wasn't really that. You know, enthusiastic for school. Like I hated school ever since the second grade. How I told no price about my teacher. Like she kind of made fun of me. How I read. I had a studying problem. And ever since then, I never read. I never read a book. Like I never participated. And every time the teacher like picks on me to read a book, I just say no, please. <laughs> and I just like squint my feet, like squint it, like when I read, cause I like I have the fear not to stutter. And yeah, and so on, like you know, back to the drug parts. You know, I tried to make money. Junior year, I transferred to Sunnyside High School where I, where I met more people that do more drugs and I started selling marijuana. And um, it felt like I was a king fit because I was selling pounds and pounds and pounds. And I gave also my, fact, my half of my money to my family because even though they don't support me, I still love them because, you know, without me being here, like, like I wouldn't be here without them, you know. Well, actually, you know, I actually don't know, cause I'm still lost. You know, if I, if, I don't know if I'm still loved or not, cause throughout my whole life, I have been negative, 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 negative things to me, with me, my family. I've been t told that I was gay, I was too skinny, not, not to be successful in life. Like, I dare to be different. I went to church, they never did, you know. Don't call me two, two chains, but I'm different. Between them. <laughs> I don't pull up to the scene with, with the silliness in and stuff like that. But, you know, every day, like, they just, like, judge me. Like, you go to church, you go to church. Like, you're not going to be a good person. You know, you're still going to be bad. You're still going to be the person I see when you're in high school. Like, okay, you know, wait till I graduate college. Like, something you didn't do. And stuff like that. 
Yeah, I try to turn th those negatives to a positive, and you know, even though I try to do it, they just don't see it. Like they just wanna bust out negative and negative and negative negative things to me. So yeah, I'm still here trying to be happy. Thanks, smile. <laughs> yeah, that's my testimony. Amen. 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 Thank you.